Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now for today's video. Yesterday I posted a review, uh, kind of an unboxing on this endless uh, notebook with Tomo away paper and I did not write in it and I was going to say that I was going to do that at the end but I ran out of time and didn't have a chance to do that so I wanted to and um, get all my gear together so I have my my pens here and actually do a writing sample and actually and try to compare it with the Rhodia paper so that you have an opportunity to see how this behaves. So hopefully you caught the other video that I had on the Endless Notebook. And this one is in the deep ocean color. It's really pretty and has a hard cover. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out, and here's the, the little paper that, you know, it comes with. And so you can watch that other video, but just to see it, does it lay flat? And it does actually, actually I haven't, uh, written in the front part I just wrote in the way back so it it lays flat I know that some of you who might be looking at this for like Bible study or even for preaching or teaching it's a really nice lay flat book and so and the papers the pages are numbered but now we want to see how it behaves with ink so uh, lay flat for most of it this part's kind of coming up a little bit so maybe we'd have to help it along a little bit but it does look like that uh, the signatures are all sewn in and it has a pretty nice kind of binding here that you can feel a little bit uh, but not not too much so anyway nice binding nice overall book and i already put a little note in here that says ink testing i didn't quite realize what i was doing i think i was zoning out but it's on the way and end of the notebook here which i hate it because you know that's a glued down page so anyway but since i started it we're just going to go ahead and continue on and um, even though i hate that so anyway there's ghosting that you can already see, and this is with my Namiki Falcon in Soft Fine, and that is Diamine Ink, uh, Oxblood Ink Blood, uh, Oxblood Ink. So I'm gonna zoom in here, move my lovely flowers out of the way because they are casting a tiny little bit of a shadow, but I wanted to have most of the paper here. So I'm gonna start off with an extra fine and see how uh, this paper does. And this is the Tomoe River 68 GSM, and this is a Kaweco um, Extra Fine Kaweco Sport. And then the ink is Noodlers violet so there's my kawiko extra fine that i did a review on yesterday too cute little pink pink ink pen pocket pen um and then i am moving on to a pilot metropolitan so as you can tell i have this thing for like 25 and under um 25 dollars and under pens so this is Pilot Metropolitan and Fine and the ink. And this one is a blue, it's a diamine. Blue black. Okay. So that is my uh, Metropolitan. Wow, that like zoomed in there. Like, okay, so that's pen number two. Then I have for you a Noodlers Ahab, and this one has the Noodlers um, Noodlers. What is it? Oh my goodness, I just blinked out. Heart of Darkness. That's it.
And the Noodler's Ahab just has like a number six nib. So I think is Heart of Darkness. And the reason why I wanted to use this one is because, you know, um, it's just a little bit of a wetter ink, uh, pen, wetter writer. That's what I wanted to say. And then I have my Namiki Falcon. So, Pilot. And a soft line. The ink is... I love this pen. All right, Diamine Oxblood. So there's that. And then the last one I'm going to use is a Noodler's Triple Tail in, hopefully this will write. This has been giving me some issues today and not wanting to write. Oh, come on. All right, hold on. gonna see if I wet it a little bit here I haven't really been using it much so that's the problem but it is um, the triple the music nib so you will drop a lot of ink on this Noodlers. goodness you can hardly see this ink and it is Rome burning. I don't know why it's not turning out so dark. There. Sometimes you just kind of have to get it going. And I just did a hard start on this one. Okay, so there's that. Now we will flip it and just kind of see with the writing. So I don't see any bleed through at all, uh, but there is ghosting. So if that kind of ghosting bothers you, um, you might want to maybe think of something a little bit different. The Noodlers is puckering up because I had to put water on it for the hard start. So um, you can... You can see quite a bit of the the falcon uh, because it has a soft vine and a little bit more of a give to the nib, so it's going to be a wetter writer. But my Kaveco is good, and the Metropolitan, uh, there's not much that you're you're um, seeing the bleed through on that at all. And the inks look pretty uh, pretty nice, and I can do a wetness test, I suppose I should have done that. Um, so we can, oh, I just kind of wrote this too close. So that's pretty wet there. Let's see how the diming does. Whoa there, that's pretty bad. Heart of Darkness. And that's like one second. So those are really um, bleeding there. So try not to drag your hand across your ink when you're writing on this paper, I suppose. It's, this is gonna bleed too. Ooh, my, yeah, these are not doing so hot. And this one, come on. I can just see it going already. And that's because some of my not so hot, even on the extra fine, is not doing so great. Okay, so that's there. Now I'm going to compare all this to the Rhodia. And that's a um, Rhodia. Oh, I already have some there. That's kind of nice. All right, so I already have the Falcon there, the Noodler's Triple Tail. Let's do 
some of the ones I don't have. So let's see, Metropolitan. And that is diamine blue black. Okay, and There's Metropolitan and how that did. You can kind of lift that up and see. So those, there's like hardly any ghosting other than I can see a little bit of the Rome burning. That's coming through, but that's kind of a given. I, I thought that would probably do that. And then Noodler's Ahab. Oh no, the Kaweco and the Noodler's Ahab. So let me try those. I wish these were in order, but they're not. So I will do the Ahab next. Oh yeah, that was fine too. All right. Um... And the ink is hot. Of darkness by the way if you haven't seen my video on the heart of darkness you need to see it because it is hands down my favorite ink it's it's just such a beautiful inky dark black it's like I don't know I think I called it like mascara black it's super dark and um, consistently dark on just about every paper oh that's a very wet rider. Okay, so there's that one, and then the last one is the Kaveco, and like I said, it's just super. I mean, I just got it not too long ago and it's already not leaving my side because it stays in my purse, except for when I'm trying to do this. So this is the Kaweco, um, what did I call it? It's the Frosted Sport. And this is extra fine. And the ink is Noodler's Violet. Very dry, as you can tell, even with a Noodler's ink in it. Okay, so that's the Rodeo paper with the same pens as compared to the Temoe River paper. And let me just flip this one over. Zoom out so that you don't have to see that that close. Although, I don't know, do you need to see the ink sample? So the ink isn't running as much as it was on the other one. Uh, it's going everywhere. Although the Heart of Darkness, and that doesn't do it for me because I use it for sketching a lot and it does not budge on paper. So anyway, a lot less ghosting, I think, as compared to this one. So there you go. And hope you like the two paper comparison and leave your comments, maybe especially on something that I can do a little bit better the next time around because I am just now starting to do some paper reviews and I hope you found that
to be helpful. Until the next time, bye.